Keep me a shooter, but ain't talking camera. These bitches so thirsty, gon' handle my family. Ballin' hard like I play for Indiana. I think that's the reason these niggas can't stand us. They think I'm an outlaw and rock the bandana. Man, I'm not as you else, but I ain't so YouTube, we back again, another video. We doing a tapering lining on braids this time. You see, he got the braids out there, so we gonna taper them up. We hitting them with the candy edge up spray. Like I said, this is one of my sponsors. So we gonna hit them with that, hit that all around. Now we gonna start in the back. I like to start in the back of my tapers. This is me. I mean, you can do your own thing, but I like to work my way from the back to the front. So, I'm starting the back. I got my clues already open, no guard, and I'm putting my guideline inside there. This is the first line. We're not going to go up too high on the taper in the back because we only got so much room to play with. As you can see, I'm pulling his braids up because, you know what I'm saying, it's like, connected. So, there's only so much room you can play with. So, you can't go up too far. But I, I got the one wall guard on there. That's the one in the walls. I'm going up flickering out where I put my line at. And that's it, it's easy steps. I took the guard off now and I'm gonna stay low with it. And just go over everything I did. Making sure I got the ball line from out of there. And going up a little higher, making sure the fade comes all the way down. It's to a nice fade. That's all we're doing right here. Now I'm gonna go down, I'm going with the grain on it. That way it's still dark, but I still want it dark. So I'm just gonna teether it out, put the final final touches on it, you know what I'm saying? Not doing going too crazy, just make sure everything is nice and neat. And that's what we're doing. Fading everything, getting everything all ready together. Yeah. Okay, now we got that out the way. We gonna hit it with the line. Now. I start in the back and I work my way up. Now with the line is you don't want to go in too far. You want to just line the edges of it up. By the way, these are the Andy Slimline Pros. I've been using these for some years now. Really, I like these clippers. They, you know what I'm saying? Nice clippers. Cool. Never had a problem out of them. Oh, they never been extremely sharp either. Like I use these on kids a lot. These are my grown people too. But like I said, they ain't never cut nobody or nothing like that. So that's why I like these. They're not too sharp, so I'm saying anybody can get these clippers. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, what we did on this side. Easy as that. So now we're about to get into the fun part, which is the line. <clears throat> Got slim line pros. We start in the middle, work our way to the right. And we're gonna tap it just to keep them crispy. This is like the first step and getting them crispy it's the regular liner because <clears throat> they look good with the regular liner of course with the enhancements it's gonna look 10 times better so we but but by the way while we're doing this we're gonna put our ball line inside there too <clears throat> to start our taper because we're gonna go ahead and get into that too since we're doing this side we're gonna do everything on the right side first so now Got the guard, we got I mean, a clipper. I want to say guard. Wall designers are open all the way up. We going them up probably about an inch from where we put the ball line at. Yeah, then we're gonna flick up a little bit. Put the one guard on there on the wall designers and go up. Now, y'all notice that I got my thumb, when I'm doing the taper, I got my thumb on top of his braid. See, I'm doing that because I'm trying to separate the hair from the taper. And the hair from the braid, cause I don't, you don't want to cut into the hair that's connected to the braid, cause when he put take his braids out, then his hair gonna fall out. Then you know what I'm saying? You don't want that. So I like to put my thumb over it while I do it, while I flick out. So just to keep everything cool, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure, just to be on the safe side. That's all. You just want to be safe while you're doing this. You don't want to make no mistakes. Now I don't have to guard on there. I'm flicking up. Taking it down now, going with the grain. Now this is keeping it dark still. This is just to add the basic, the fade, make the fade look way better. That's all that's doing. Yeah, I can see you putting the line side there. You putting the C cups in this one. You gonna put the C cups in this tape because you want to keep your sideburns. 
So now, you're hitting it with the barber magic pencil. Start in the middle, work your way to the right. That's like the first thing you wanna do. Second thing you wanna do, start in the middle, work your way to the right. Like I said, don't press too hard with this pencil. You just wanna touch it, and you can put the curve inside there too. Just touch it just a tad bit. Another key is, make sure your pencil is sharp so you don't have no issues with it. And what we gonna do now, we just smearing it. We just smearing the line, the line with the clippers. That's all we doing. Cause you wanna make sure it look A1. Now you gotta go over any work we gotta go over. We got no guard on there, we flicking up. Going over everything on this side. So we can be good. Once we get this side out of the way, we can just go straight to the other side. Which we on that. So you do the same thing we did to that side on this side. You know what I'm saying? Put the line inside there, touch it with that taper. Putting the start the ball line inside there. Same thing. Hitting it with the barber magic pencil. Like I said, my pencil is kind of sharp, so I don't have to press as hard. Keep your pencil sharp, so you ain't got to press as hard. Just tap it. Then hit it with the liners. These Andy Slimline Pros. Just tap it. Hit the sides. You know what I'm saying? Just tap it. Now you're going to start with tape. We're going to go back over the ball part first. And we're going to make sure we put that C inside there. That, like the half C. So you'll get more together with this one. So you see it? There you go right there. We got the clippers all, all the way up. We're going to go up. Like an inch above from where we put the ball line at. That's an inch. That's about it. Put it on there. Then we put the guard on there. And then we're going to flick up. And knock that line out. Flick up, flick up. You see, I got my hand on the braid still, making sure everything is separated. Like I said, you don't want to put everything together. You want to make sure everything is separated. And there we go right there. But we're not done yet. We're going to hit it some more, clean it up. Clean it up. Just flick up. Make sure every line is out. Make sure the tapers are smooth out. Like I said, this, this is called cleanup work. We're just going over, making sure everything's clean up. Hit the line there one more time, make sure it's crispy as possible. It, as crispy as we can get it, that's what we want to do. Hit the bar with magic pencil on there one more time. Go around it. Like I said, if you're doing it halfway, you ain't got to do it all the way. Now add the hair fibers. Now what you want to do with these, this is very important. You just want to lightly squeeze it. You don't want to put too much on there that it's looking all caked up. You want it to look natural, looking as possible. Or as close to natural looking as possible. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to look too crazy. A lot of people, they take this black and they just go overboard with it. And they just had the whole lining part just black and looking crazy. You want to keep it looking natural. That's why I'm combing it out. And I'm hitting it with the lining again. I'm going to try to make that lining more crispy than the black part. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep touching with the lining. Like I don't, you don't want to make it obvious. Like you can see it inside there, but you don't want to go too crazy with it. I know. Some barbers, they go too crazy with it. They be all over. You just want to make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Make it look nice and neat. That's all people care about. Nice and neat. And there you have it. Nice lining. It's crispy, crispy lining right there. Yeah, that's one for the books. That's how you do a crispy lining. <laughs>